less energy from 4 to 9 p.m. when less clean energy is available. Because that's power down time. The more we learn about COVID-19, the more questions we have. The biggest question now, what's next? What will COVID bring in six months, a year? If you're feeling anxious about the future, you're not alone. Cal Hope offers free COVID-19 emotional support. Call 833-317-4673 or live chat at calhope.org today. Live from the Broadcast Center in Los Angeles, this is KCAL 9 News at 8 a.m. Wow, check out this shot from our Mount Wilson camera. Beautiful Saturday morning. It's starting to warm up after a very, very chilly day. Can't wait to see what our weather's going to turn out the rest of the day. Yeah, thanks for starting your morning with us here at KCAL 9. I am Tina Patel. And I'm Rachel Kim. Let's start off, of course, with a look at your weather with meteorologist Alex Biston. Good morning, Alex. Hi, Tina and Rachel. Good morning to you. Yes, it's 830 on this Saturday morning. Happy Saturday, everybody. We made it to the weekend and here's a look at what is happening. Uh, you know, we've got rain up to the north of us up in the Pacific Northwest. It's moving in, but for us here in Southern California, well, we're going to be dry today. Lots of sunshine with conditions this morning, especially for our wind prone areas below passes and canyons. Temperatures will top out in the lower 70s this afternoon, so very close to average. A little bit warmer once we head into Sunday. Still hanging on to lower 70s, but you know what? We're talking 80s as we head into this upcoming week. It's not going to feel like winter. We'll talk the details and how long that is expected to last. That's coming up very soon. Back to you. Alex, thank you. Breaking news in Ukraine. Russian soldiers are closing in on the capital city of Kyiv. The UN Refugee Agency says nearly 120,000 people have fled into neighboring countries so far. That number is going up fast. KCAL 9's Tina Ezzedine is live now with the latest developments. Good morning. Good morning. And one of those neighboring countries where they are fleeing to is Romania. Meanwhile, here at home, the Biden administration says it is sending Ukraine up to $350 million in arms and other defensive supplies. New video just in shows Ukraine defending itself in an attack on Russia. Additionally, video also shows people fleeing violence in Ukraine and crossing into Romania Saturday morning. A border town was crowded with people, mostly women and children, coming from Ukraine after they were driven from their homes following Russia's invasion. Humanitarian workers inside Romania have tried to help those in need, handing out aid, including food and toiletries, to the refugees.